There's this big gigantic couch and every subscriber is sitting on it and we're just like watching TV together and hanging out and I want that to feel this way. If I seem completely out of it, more so than usual, it's because I'm exhausted. Because Annie and I had COVID this week. Oh, and it was miserable. It was a miserable existence of a week. So, because I've been cooped up in the house all week and literally not even enough energy to walk to the kitchen without having to stop for a water break. I've been bored out of my mind. I want to I want to do something. So we're going to do rain. I heard this on a live stream that I did one time. Kind of wanted something mellow. And this could be terrible. I could be out of breath by the time I press play. I have no idea. So bear with me. But I figured just kind of chill out, lay back, listen to some tunage, and get after it, shall we? And I got these fancy new headphones because I figure I'm listening to some amazing music. I shouldn't be listening to this amazing amazing music through $12 headphones, right? No, we got to give them a place to go. So got some fancy stuff. I think the, the B, I think that's for BTS. Yeah, sure. BTS rain from apparently the, Dark and Wild album. Check, check, check. Good. Dalin and Chatter, Sabangi come to Denu Sander, Nashin and Hurim, Kungin and Margam. You know, as a begging and not. I got you wanted so This isn't mellow at all. This is a, <laughs> This is a mistake. <laughs> I can't be chair dancing right now. We can do this. We're gonna do it together. Calmly. Oh, this is hot. First of all, it's got that lounge flavor to it. I love lounge music. I seriously do. I'm not even kidding. I love lounge music. And I don't know if you would call it lounge, you know, like, I know it's jazzy, but like, what do you call it when there's a piano player and like a, a woman in a dress singing along, you know, and there's, there's a guy in a corner, like with a martini. I know the answer is like every James Bond movie, but whatever that kind of music is. 
I love that. I think it's jazz, some type of jazz or lounge, whatever. But this tone of whatever is going on in that that foundation is is hot. That little piano riff, and then when the bass the bass kind of hiccups when the chorus comes. Oh yeah. <laughs> And that harmony just makes him sound like it's a synthesizer. This is this is tasty. There we go. Buffer. I heard the sugar. Oh, getting excited. I gotta calm down. Sugar. now right here i'm starting to get the feeling like it's going to start to build and there's going to be some kind of interlude coming up or bridge so you know what I love about the fact that I can't understand the lyrics at this point? Because I generally don't listen to lyrics anyway in American songs. Like, I just don't hear lyrics. The vocals always sound like another instrument to me, period. I mean, I've listened to songs for like 30 years, and I'm like, it's about that? Really? No idea. Another instrument. Like when these guys rap, it's so, I can't explain it, but like, it's really another instrument because I don't even know what they're saying if I wanted to. So when they start going and then they offset and then come back on beat on point and then offsetting, oh man, a whole different level of respect. And I have to say, lately... Yungi has been catching my eye and not in like a Jimin way. Like, no, I'm talking about, and I don't know where it started, but at some point I started picking up on the fact that like Yungi lives and breathes musicality. He is a machine. Like there should be a box on the wall and it says break in case of emergency and Yungi's in there. And if there's like, Oh no, music's been banned forever in the whole world. Here he comes. He's like the heavy hitter. So when Yugi comes up and he starts rapping, it doesn't matter what song it is now. When I hear Yugi come in, oh man. He's just like, I don't know. For me now, lately, he just feels like he's coming in with these giant boots. And when he raps, you know he is. Like, he is there to do what he do. Does that make sense? Cause it better. If it doesn't, take it up with Yungi. By the way, and I know this wasn't Yungi's verse. It was 
like the first rap verse. I got that, but I just had to say it there because we're talking about rapping. If that's Jimin, is that Jimin? There was like a little, little flavor of gin, but I couldn't tell. Now, if it's both of them, I'm gonna feel like a pimp. That type of music, that's what I'm talking about. That is where if I could wave my magic wand, I would be sitting in a nightclub somewhere. And I don't mean like a, you know, Ice Ice Baby is playing and we're beating up the beat like Jersey Shore. No, that's a good time. But I'm talking about dark nightclub. I'm on a leather chair, dark corner old-fashioned chocolate milk I'm with people like interesting people that can carry a conversation and this is the type of music that's playing oh yeah and just just jam it you know what I mean just beat that dog Benny oh Whatever that is, somebody help me out. You know what I'm talking about. I keep saying the same thing. Help me out in the comments. What kind of music is that? So I can stop saying that kind of music. So now let's get to the dirty, dirty. Let's get to the lyrics, shall we? Give you a little more size. And I'll scoot over just a hair as if you need to see me more. I just thought that was really interesting. I don't know if I have a lot of thoughts or no thoughts at all. I can definitely sympathize with that. Man, that's kind of intriguing. That whole verse was so natural. It was it was literally like Junie was just talking, talking about what's going on. Like a crazy guy start to hum. I wonder what time it is. <laughs> just feels natural. By the way, I gotta say, whoever put together this lyric video and chose the pictures, I do not approve. It's like you chose all the pictures of them getting bad news.
Not a fan. V sounding smooth. There it is. Mm. Sugar. Mm. Lyrically, it's like they're like I can feel the rainy day. I feel the moment that they're describing. You know what I mean? So far right now, it says Jimin. I'm pretty sure this is where I was like, yo, is that Jimin or Jin? So let's see what happens. Man, I could have swore that part with Jimin. I could hear Jin in there. Maybe it's like a harmony, I wonder. So much atmosphere in that song. So here's what I love about this. There's not really a deep dive. Like I could deep dive the life out of this thing if I wanted to. I could black swan this thing right into the table, but I'm not gonna do that. But here's what I will say. First, I'm gonna take this away. That's enough. But I'm gonna say this. A song like Rain, for me, is just more proof that these guys are doing what they're supposed to be doing. I mean, you got Junie, then you got Sugar. And you got J-Hope with their verses. The way they're written, it's there's like, Junie's is natural, right? Sugar's gets a little bit deeper. You know, he talks about his own existence, comparing that to the rain. Like, am I just a rain shower that just passes through? Or am I the type that my existence is like, 
I'm here. I'm sticking around. Um, and then Hobie talking about like the lonely cement. It's just, it's just good writing. It's creative. It's, it's, it's meaty. And that's just the lyrics. I mean, the the whole, the whole production in terms of that type of music. That's a that's a different style than the BTS I've been listening to. That's not fire, right? And it's not like joke or or um, you know daydream. It's a whole different whole different level. And that goes back to what I was saying about Yoongi, you know. Yoongi right now wants to start toying with other genres and things and like seeing how far he can push himself musically. And things like this are just more proof that like it's this isn't cookie cutter stuff that they're doing. This is they're pushing some limits. Mad respect for that. I think the biggest thing for this that's going to come out of this for me is you telling me what kind of music that is so I can finally have a label for it. Somebody help me out. Why? Because they asked nicely and because I'm Roscoe, your BTS buddy. Look out for each other. We still have a long journey ahead of us.